Good morning everyone. Now we are going to discuss about theories of evolution. And last class we learned about evidences of evolution, various types of evidences evolution is occurs. They explain about the evolution, how evolution is occurs. Now theories, theories different theories of evolution. The some uh, different different sciences are explained their their views about what evolution. Okay, here at evaluation is theories of evolution. John Baptist Lamarck, given Lamarck and August Weismann and Charles Darwin and uh, Hardis Weinberg theory. So many theories is there about what evaluation. Here, the first of all, we have to discuss about Lamarckism. What is the Lamarckism? Lamarckism, nothing but that is a theory of Lamarck. Okay, Jean Baptist Lamarck, the scientist, first he only tried. He only tried to explain about the evaluation. Okay, he's the first scientist, especially the belongs to French. Okay, Jean Baptist de Lamarck. His full name is Jean Baptist de Lamarck. In 1744 to 18, his period is 1829. Between this period, he is trying to explain about what theory of evaluation. Theory of evaluation, how evaluation is occurs, what are the evidences of evaluation? He is trying to explain what theories of evaluation. He was the first, he was the first greatest French nat naturalist who are the first time suggested complete theory of evaluation. First time who suggested Complete theory of evaluation means what? Jean Baptiste Lamarck. Okay, Lamarck theory was published in 1807, 1809, especially in his book. In his book, he written book is Philosophy of Geological. Geology. Philosophy of Geological. Philosophy of Geologic Q that is published by Jean Baptiste Lamarck at 1809. The year of 1809, he published the book name is Philosophy of Geologic Q. Geologic Q. Okay. Uh, Lamarck theory was criticized by other scientists. So many scientists are criticized. One scientist is there. The scientist name is Georges. Cuvier. He called, he calling it, okay, navelle fuli. That means, what is the meaning of foolish? Whatever he, theory explained by Jean Baptist Lamar, George Cuvier is a criticizer that what theory of Lamarckism, that is a foolish theory. Okay, navelle of fully. Nyavilla fully that means that is the meaning of foolish theory he criticized who criticized Georges Cuvier criticized the theory of what Lamarck theory okay now we are going to discuss about what is Lamarck theory what he explained what he was explained in the theory of Lamarckism Lamarckism theory is also known theory of inheritance of acquired characters Lamarck theory is also known as theory of inheritance of acquired characters and theories of use and disuse organs. Two terms are very important in Lamarck theory. What is that one? The first one is what theory of inheritance of acquired characters. Whatever acquired character, it is inheritance. And second one is theory of use and disuse of organs. Just we have to discuss about these terms as per Lamarck. Theory of inheritance of acquired characters. Acquired, whatever required characters. Whatever required characters in our body, these are inheritance to other organisms. Inheritance to our, our babies, our family. It is, uh, uh, it will be showing in next generation to generation. For example, he took one example to explain about theory of inheritance of acquired characters. He took what giraffe's neck. 
at primitive at starting time giraffe is look like a very small in size like a deer very small in size later what happen as for the situations unfavorable situations unfavorable condition the deer what or sorry the giraffe is uh, for giraffe is food is not available whatever grows everything is what disappear so that uh, they want to take their food they starts from stretching their neck which one whatever giraffe is there in ancient time olden days there are very small in size after lack of bushes whatever small grass or bushes there are starts from eating they starts from what cast the trees and when there are catching the trees they starts from stretching their neck stretching their neck so that as per law or what happened what he told after few generations whatever giraffe is there at the starting time very small in size after when they are starting to stretching their neck after few generation long neck giraffe is are burned as per lamark acquired character here acquired character is what long neck is required why because food is not available at down so that need to stretch their stretch their necks need to catch what trees so that now whatever we are seeing giraffe is are very long neck very tall and long neck giraffe is why because as per lamark he told that what at the starting time giraffe is are very small in size after stretching their neck after after in their family in inheritance what long neck giraffe is are born that mean that is explained by theory of inheritance of acquired characters acquired characters and second one is theory of use and disuse organs theories of use and disuse organ what is theory of use and disuse organ for example uh, for example one example i will explain python okay non poisonous snake a very large size okay very long and large head size that is a python one of the example of non poisonous snake in python if you observe in ventral side in ventral side already we discussed about what vestigial organ in ventral side we are observe what just foot like structures what we called just bud like structures vestigial foods but actually snakes that is the python is also snake crawling on earth at ancient time in olden days in primitive and starting time at uh, ancient time these snakes are also reptiles having what limbs legs limbs but they are not using their legs they are using their skin to move they are using their skin for what crawling on earth they are not used what legs so that nowadays whatever snakes we are seeing what without legs without limbs that me theory of use and disuse organ if you are not using any organ in your body it is not inheritance it is not coming it is not inheritance in future it is uh, as any heredity whatever future that means as per lamar for me as per lamar lamar is what he told first of all he told theory of acquire acquire require characters are inheritance of acquired characters whatever acquired characters is there require characters is there nobody it is inheritance in future and the second law second term theory of use and disuse organ if you are not using any organ in our body that is not inheritance that is not inheritance that is not giving to your babies given example python he took example python 
Python we are observed what snakes. Python we are observed in ventral side, especially for what limb-like structures. But there are not just limb-like structure. Okay, that is the evidence. Okay, even these snakes also having limbs in ancient time. But they are not using for crawling that limbs. So that that is not inheritance. As for what John, okay, Jean Mortis, what Lamarck. Okay. These two terms are very important. Theories of inheritance of acquired characters. Theories of theory of use and disuse organ. Okay. For example, as per Lamarck, in our body also, if any organ is not using, what will be happen in future? It will be not comes. It is not inheritance. As per Lamarck. He given some examples we have to take. Lamarck <coughs> prostable to of use of use and disuse of organ supported by elongated limb limbless body of snake i am already told limbless body of snake body, snakes do not have what limbs okay that is mean as per what he told what as for disuse use and disuse of theory they lose they lose their legs they lose their limbs and lengthening neck of giraffe this is used organ. So that it is inheritance. Long neck giraffe. Long neck giraffe are inheritance. Where the first neck is giraffe, neck is very short. Later it will be evaluated like what? Long neck. Use. If you use more, that is inheritance. Okay. And also what? Uh, rudimentary eyes of cave dwellers, which are living in caves. The eyes are not using proper way, blind worms. Okay. And vestigial organs of living organism. Vestigial organs also that is not useful. So that slowly there are disappear as per Lamarck. Okay. And this is information about Lamarckism. Lamarckism, nobody not agreed about what Lamarckism. August Wiesman, one more scientist is there. The scientist name is August Wiesman. In 1892, he formulated a famous theory of germoplasm theory. August Wiesman, what? He criticized, he rejected theory of what? Lamarckism. He, he did not accept Lamarckism. He did some experiment. What he did, August Wiesman theory. He proposed one theory, theory of germoplasma, germs plasma. Okay, in that theory, what he explained, he did one experiment, August Wiesman. What he did experiment mean, he, he took what mice. In, he took what mice. In every generation, he cutted the tail of the mice. Okay, for example, a little drop diagram. In every generation, he cutted the tail of the mice. But he observed up to 22 generations, he observed. Up to 22 generations, what happened in each and every generation, the mice burn with long tail but in every generation what he cut the tail of the mice again he interpreted again he copulated with which are cut mouse but rats nothing but rats but in every generation the mice okay mice or uh, whatever burns with rats are burns with what long tail As for Lamarckism, if you are not using any organ, that is not inheritance, use and disuse of organs. But here he observed that in every generation, up to 22 generations, rats are burnt with long neck, sorry, long tail. So that August Wiesman told that the Lamarckism is wrong. Lamarckism is wrong, which resulted in erosion of Lamarckism concept inheritance of acquired characters. 
here he cutted the tails of the mice up to totally two generation but in every generation the mice are born with tail finally he concluded that lamarckism is wrong he is not accepted lamarckism he proposed neo lamarckism lamarckism believed that those characters whatever be their origin and and nature that could not affect germplasm or inherit inheritable and others are not only inheritable character sir whatever changes occur in germplasm only if any body okay as per august wisman whatever changes occurs in body part that is not inherited whatever changes occurs in germplasm whatever changes occurs in protoplasm whatever changes occurs in dna rna that is only inheritance to the future try to understand that is germplasm theory whatever changes occurs in body parts body cells that is not inheritance in future generation which are whatever changes occurs in germplasm whatever changes occurs in dna and rna that is only inheritance in future one generation to next generation that is what august wisman theory germplasm theory okay this, this is a theory of what lamarckism